All right, you guys, December 24, 2021. The snow is picking up and we're getting these big fat snowflakes and I am just loving it. So you know what we do, we update. Anytime the weather changes, do a little update. Turn right onto Evergreen well, Drive. I taking the back streets again but from a different direction and we'll take a couple different ones to get through town in three so quarters of a mile turn right onto neighbors. summit boulevard i know you guys want to see what the main roads look like but since there's not a, really any traffic because of, i think highway 18 is closed i think uh it's not going to matter too much so you guys can at least see the beauty of the neighborhoods etc 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 once again i'm dawning Beautiful. In half a mile, Seriously, guys, turn right onto like, Summit Boulevard. Like cashmere. It's freaking amazing. Freaking amazing, dude. What's going to be very exciting for me is actually seeing someone else wearing the beanie up here. It'll probably make me cry, to be honest. I cry a lot. I'm a, cry I'm a guy who cries a lot. And I'm not afraid to admit it. So yeah, this is beautiful. We're getting up here close to Summit. We're actually gonna turn down this street here to get closer to Summit and then come back down. This is called Crestwood that we're turning left onto. Right now we're on Evergreen and we're heading to Switzerland right now. Oh, these snowflakes are so pretty, you guys. And what's really cool is that you don't have to have the windshield wipers on too much because it's not gonna Mess up the Turn right like onto Switzerland Drive. So you get a better view of everything. This is freaking awesome, guys. This is freaking awesome. Yeah, so I looked at the radar and then I looked outside and it did show a big feet. glob of right onto Summer Boulevard. heavy snow coming in right now. So we got to do it. Turn right onto Summit Boulevard. Okay. I think we're going to stay on Switzerland instead of going down Summit. I think we'll be good. But here's Snow Summit right here. What a beautiful day for all these guys, all these snowboarders. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> At the next traffic lights, turn left. Have fun, you guys. Have fun up there. All right, hang on, guys. Give me a moment. We gotta wait for this traffic. Hang on. All right, sorry about that. I had a phone call come in. But yeah, look at all the people at Summit. Look at how cool that looks. Literally and figuratively. All right. So we're on Switzerland still. In a quarter mile, and we're turn take right onto Thrush Drive. Believe... Oh my gosh, why am I spacing the name of the street? Maybe because I haven't slept at all. Um, what is the name? The weather outside is Turn right onto Thrush Drive. This snow is so delightful And if there's no place to go Come to Big Ben Come to Big Ben At the next stop sign, turn left dun, 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 dun. Driving through the snow in the city Should ask the guy if he needs a ride. But I'm actually on a mission right now. A mission for the binding. So we're gonna go onto the side roads here. Again, we're gonna take Brownie Lane, which is this one, because we are gonna get stuck in this traffic right here. But we're gonna take Brownie. We're not gonna actually take a brownie, guys. A because mile, I would be turn very right onto red drive. driving if I did that. And I don't do that stuff anymore. I can't believe I stopped smoking two, two and a half weeks ago. 
But you know what? I think it's going to be all in all better for me. Seriously, it was putting me into panic attacks and, and stuff like that. Um, really strange. Really strange, but I think that's a blessing. Turn right onto Ren Drive and turn like left onto Big Bear Boulevard. Please watch out for me, please. Oh, please. We are going to continue taking the back roads. If we make it right here, that's Big Bear Boulevard. But we're not going to do that. We're on Ren. So you guys are getting a good back sign. road tour, which is good. As I said, I want you guys to be able to save your save your time up here and enjoy yourselves. At the next stop sign. This is the first season I haven't received a bunch of comments from locals really pissed off at me for showing you guys the back roads. So I'm very grateful for that. Turn left onto Eureka Maybe Drive, of, then, then turn right onto Oak Street. Realizing how fortunate we are to actually get you guys to come up here. Because without you guys, we can't live here. Bottom, that's the bottom line. And this place has saved my life. I mean, you guys saved my life, but this place has saved my life. At the stop sign, turn right onto Oak Street, here, then turn right onto channel. Georgia Street. And I wouldn't have you guys. Seriously, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. This is Oak, and this guy's gonna turn. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So the side streets aren't too bad right now. Turn right onto Georgia Street. I'm not turning right onto Georgia Street, man. We're gonna go my own way. You can go your own way. Go your At the stop way. sign, turn right onto Jeffrey's Road. So we're gonna turn left. We're gonna defy my GPS system. Defy. Him and I, a quim and I. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I care for real. It didn't mean to make the rain fall. I wanted snow to fall day and night. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Turn right onto Night Avenue. I am for real. Alrighty then. So this guy's kind of hauling a bit of butt. But a hypocrite can't be calling people on stuff like that. I could, it's really weird. I can tell who locals are and who aren't by the way they're driving up here and where they're driving. But I guess that doesn't take a genius to figure that out. You know, if, if you're on the back side roads like this that are completely empty and you know, you can get through just as fast. And yeah, you're probably a local or you're one of my people. One of my people, you guys are not my people. You guys are my friends and my family. More family than friend, to be honest. To be honest. Not to pee honest. I am a weirdo, I know. I don't need to hear it anymore. I'm the weirdest guy in Big Bear. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Go ahead, bud. Should we up the right away, man? Okay. Char, I just told you I'm making a video. When people text it, it, it interrupts the video, unfortunately. Look at how cool this little vehicle is. It's like the mini plow. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I like it a lot. Hang on, guys. Okay. We are... We are in the village, obviously, ladies and gentlemen. In the Big Bear Village is where we are Having a snow drive in my car People throwing snowballs, having a good time I love Big Bear all of the time <clears throat> Seriously, like I want to sing like You Raise Me Up by Josh Groban and stuff That's how good I'm feeling right now So under the lodging part of my playlists, guys, I've stayed here too. I stayed in the biggest room they offer here. And it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like 200 bucks per night and it was like 1,500 square feet. Continue on to Big Bear Boulevard. Show, 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 show. Look at, I love these little snow plows. All right, I do feel a little bit of sun popping through. In 1.6 miles, turn right onto Sienega Road. Okay, okay, okay. 
Chains required, four wheel drive with snow tires, okay. But it says carry chains anyway. I'm telling you guys, like, uh, please, even if you have the proper vehicle, have your tire chains with you. Because I've been turned around driving up here to visit as a kid, driving halfway up the mountain through all the traffic and then Caltrans turned me around because I didn't have tire chains in the car. What we used to do is just put regular chains in a, in a box and put them in the back. And I'm not suggesting you guys do that, but it got us through every time. <laughs> Don't do that because you want to be safe. I'm just divulging what I have done and that probably wasn't the best thing to tell you guys. But it is what it is. Now we're getting darker again, this is good. The further we go this direction, the heavier the snow should get. In one mile, turn right onto Sienega Road. Okay. depression to not wanting to wake up to being really happy right now and I owe that to you guys though it's not just the snow it's you guys being there for me it's incredible how much you guys are there for me thank you thank you thank you thank you so much the love is insanely beautiful and it's helping me it's, it saved my life that sounds ridiculous but it did save my life So we're gonna turn right here. At least I think it said turn right on this road. In half a mile, bear left onto Waterview Drive. Okay. This is such an awesome place, guys. So as I said, further you get this direction, the more snow you're gonna get. Look how much snow they have over here. They have a whole whopping like two and a half, three inches. It looks like a lot more because of the snow plows plowed all this stuff on the side. But the lake is just right here. Believe it or not, the in half a mile, to to right they left here, onto Waterview like right Drive. Against this wall. And it doesn't even look like all this rain put a dent in the lake level, but I guarantee you it did. I guarantee you it did. I'm interested to find out and see exactly what happened. How much more we have. So. And then I think we're gonna finish this ride. We're gonna drive around the lake. But we're gonna take some of these side streets real quick. And yes, you could use a signal maybe or something. So that would help maybe. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just that's what signals are there for, especially on icy roads. You want people to know that you're turning. It's not really icy to tell you the truth. I'm just complaining like a little baby. And I'm going to try and stop. And I'm not going to make this guy feel rushed because he's probably looking for a certain place. Seriously, I'm the type of person who, if someone's right on my butt, I'll speed up and stuff like that to appease them and then I'll crash. So I don't want them to do that. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. You guys have really made me grow up a lot and I'm very grateful for you. But yeah, this is unbelievable. Awesome. Bear left onto Waterview Drive. Unbelievably awesome. So we need to bear left onto Waterview Drive here. All right. Yeah, In a quarter mile, turn here. right onto Robin Road. I love all my friends on YouTube. 
Turn right onto Robin Road, then turn right onto Blue Jay Road. I hope you can come up here and sled around and have some fun. Turn right onto Blue Jay Road, then bear right. Now we're just taking a... Uh, I just typed in a random address. Oops, do I want to go down here? Uh, I think I just passed it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see here. I hope I went the right way. Turn right onto Woodland Way, then turn right onto Waterview Drive. I'm actually meeting a friend real quick. He left some of his equipment and he wanted me to drop it. Turn off. right he's, onto Waterview he's Drive. right now. Which is crazy to be painting in this weather. So this is Waterview. Wow, what a nice street. What a nice looking street this is. All right. We've got all of these people in the street having fun. Awesome, awesome. I love seeing that. In a that. quarter mile, the destination I is on your right. 39105 that. Waterview Drive. I love seeing that. Okay, this is so gorgeous, you guys, oh my gosh. You guys know who I'm meeting up with right now? He's a good friend of mine. His brother plays professional baseball. His brother's name is Lucas Duda. How cool is that? This is his, this is his older brother. But when he came by to do a little touch up work on my house, he left some of his paint equipment and he needs it desperately. So that's why I am trying to find him but I don't want to get him on tape because I don't think he would appreciate that. Okay, just Arrived. dropped off the supplies. And the house he's working on right now, he said during Christmas time right now, it's $1,800 per night. I told him once it's cheaper again, during the week, like after the holiday season, I'd like to put it on my credit card if it's like six or 700 bucks a night for two nights. And he and his wife and kids can come stay for free. And we'll just have a jolly old time. I mean, I don't mind because I've been really responsible with my credit cards. So I don't mind spending money on my cards like that. Um, especially when I have, I have like 18 credit cards now. They all have tiny limits, but they're all paid off except for two of them. And I keep it that way because I'm trying to build my credit. So the more money you have available to use and don't use it, the better it's going to be and the better it looks for for lenders. But yeah, so that's also something I'm willing to do with you guys as well, just so you know, is uh, whenever you guys come up, if you guys wanted to stay in, in a place that you usually wouldn't want to pay for, you know, I'll go in half on it um, if it's one of these huge mansions because you only live once and uh, I'm not trying to be like pretentious in any way, but you know, you only live once and I like the nicer things in life. I really do. I'm grateful for everything I have, but I really like the nicer things. And some people give me crap about it and that hurts my feelings because it's not like I'm trying to like, you know, be a pretentious jerk, but it's just, I don't know. It just makes me feel, feel good. Maybe because it reminds me of my childhood and how I grew up. I grew up in a house that was like MTV Cribs. We had seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, an elevator. We had a live-in housekeeper, a live-in nanny for me. Um, yeah, it was incredible. A little private island in Newport Beach. Look at this, guys. It's a little view of what would be the lake area. Man, just so beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna continue this drive around the Big Bear Lake. Right now we're on Cienega and we're gonna turn on Big Bear Boulevard, but hang tight, I gotta check a message right, So let's do the lake drive, we're gonna go around now. Since we're already over on this side of town, we're just gonna go all the way around through Fawn Scan and do this. One of my best friends used to work at this resort here to the left and he moved away. 
just recently. I'm very sad about that. Nick, I miss you, bro. I miss you a lot, man. What a nice person. What a nice person. Nice family, too. His mom is so sweet. His grandma is so sweet. They're just all so darn sweet. store right now so I thought I'd give her a hello here's Boulder Bay Park and guys I'm sorry that air compressor is gonna be annoying for about five minutes but it's not as annoying as me for like the whole 40 minutes <laughs> so yeah this is the way people drive into town from the other from coming this way but it's closed I heard on highway 18 so look at how awesome this is not awesome in terms of like you guys can't get up here awesome for me to be able to get through and around the lake quickly once again I'm sorry about that annoying noise it will turn off in about three and a half minutes because I wanted to have a big enough air compressor so I could hold on the horn for like five seconds Right now, you guys, it's 33 degrees. And as I said, the further you go this way, typically the more snow you'll get. And it looks like it's panning out to be that way as usual. Oh, why, thank you, sir. Why, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at how gorgeous that is. My goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Man, what a beautiful place. Probably not watching through this far, but Omar, I just want to say hello, man. Thank you for uh, for all the things you've been saying to me, man. It's having a big impact on me. All of you have been so ridiculously loving to me. It's just it's it's just really hard for me to really understand still, but I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Because as I told you guys, like most of my life, yeah, my, my mom and dad were always supportive and always say, you know, if you work hard, stay in school, and you can become whatever you want. You can become whatever you want. And I, and, and I can do anything. But it's the rest of my family that always made me feel like crap. And that's why you guys are my siblings now. I don't have any siblings. Trust me, it's not that big of a loss. The status is, is to say that, it's not that big of a loss. The gain has been you guys. So yeah guys, this is Big Bear Boulevard, AKA Highway 18. guys I sing and I'm sorry I know it can be very annoying for the mean people out there who like to say that I should shut up and just drive <laughs> I mean you got to be smart enough to know there's a mute button so hit the mute button instead of saying such mean comments so this is typically the snowiest part of town right here believe it or not right up alongside the mountain look yeah highway 18 is closed road closed holy holy moly that's insane 
That's where all of you would be coming in from. Absolutely insane. I am so sorry, you guys. Turn off, please. I'm going to give you to the count of 10 to get your lazy, no good keys to off my property, or I'll pump your guts full of lead. Hey, Bones. All right, Bones. Was it Bones? One, two, ten. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm excited right now. That's my Home Alone impression. Not too good, but. It's, uh, it's an impression nonetheless. Good or bad. So yeah, we are about to enter the fawn skin area. Unfortunately, you can't see what these signs say because the snow is plastered. Oh, we're entering fawn skin. That's what that sign said. And don't forget, when you get into the main part of Fonskin, the speed limit's 25 miles an hour. Do not go any faster than that. Remember, this town makes a lot of money off of ticketing people. And I'm not saying, that, I'm, I'm not trying to talk smack or, or, or say that's a bad thing, but it's a, it's a big source of income for us. Believe it or not, that type of stuff and DUIs. So don't drink and drive, you guys. Please, for the love of God, do not drink and drive. There's so many people up here who just want to have fun and live and have a good time. We're going to roll down the window because the lake is looking awesome. Can you guys imagine if all of the rain we had yesterday was snow? I found out we got about seven plus inches of rain. And usually in this area, one inch of rain will be about one foot of snow. In a much drier climate, one inch of rain can bring two or three feet of snow, like in the Colorado Rockies and stuff like that. It's incredible how that works. They get the really nice champagne powder. We get the really wet snow, but it's still nice. It's still fun. Man, having that window down feels great. I'm very, I'm very impressed with how this guy is driving in front of us. It's making me very happy. Temperature is a steady 33. Also, the colder the temperature gets, the more snow gets squeezed out of these storms also. But something interesting is when I lived in Colorado, there would be points where it would be too cold to snow. Isn't that kind of weird? articulate that and I don't know how to shut my damn train horn up but it needs to shut up okay seriously I'm gonna give it 10 more seconds start crying if it doesn't turn off.
you guys for bearing with me with that. I won't hog it again on the rest of this drive, so we don't have to deal with this. Yeah, it's been on for quite some time now. If I start smelling smoke, then I know we have a problem back there. <laughs> Gotta be getting close. We're gonna pull over and check it out just to make sure. So here's that 25 mile an hour speed limit I was talking to you guys about. Definitely adhere to it. Obviously adhere to all the speed limits, but especially this one. The guy in front of us knows that too. So we're gonna pull over here. Oh, we don't have to. Sweet! It just turned off. You raise me up. Okay, we're in Fonskin now, guys. Do not blink or we will pass right through it. I said don't blink. You guys are blinking. Now we're not in Fonskin anymore. I'm just kidding. We're still in Fonskin, just by a little bit. This is the whole downtown area. North Shore Cafe is a really great place. One of my best friends in the world when I was younger. His parents had one of the biggest houses in Big Bear as a vacation home on the water on Cove Street. Just incredible place. And they took me to breakfast there. It was really nice. I didn't have any money to spend for breakfast and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm just super grateful for them for for back then treating me and helping me out and uh yeah i love you jordan i hope to see you soon bro i hope your girl's doing good i hope your mom's doing great i definitely miss your mom a lot we met at a rehabilitation center in utah in loa utah and that, that's in wayne county it was right next to Capitol Reef National Park and other towns called Bicknell and Torrey. It was called Loa, and I was there for a year. It would get so cold there. Wouldn't get as much snow as here, but it would get way colder. And yes, it would snow for sure, but we, we, we wouldn't get nearly the amount of snow there that we would get here. I'm about ready to pass this guy. I know I'm not gonna do it on a blind turn you guys so don't worry about that I'm not like that But we're gonna have to <laughs> Obviously the guy will speed up But that's what they do this edge now. This is the only place I've had an accident and it was when I had my Mercedes ML 500 when I first moved up here. It was really icy right here. It's a 10 mile per hour turn and I took it a little fast and the car wouldn't turn. It just kept on going straight and I crashed right into the side. It's the only accident I've had up here. And when I hit it felt like my car fell completely apart, but it didn't do much damage. It just kind of screwed up the bumper a bit. Wow, there's not as much snow over here as I thought there would be. Look at this, guys. Because this is the other side of the lake. As I said, when the storms hit this mountain range over here where Snow Summit is and all that stuff, the storms hit, it rises, condenses, and it all dumps right there. And then this side of the lake, you hit more of that dry, arid desert climate because the desert's just on this side of the mountains over here, literally just on this side, not far. So it's like the storms fight to stay alive over here. It's such a cool climate area. So many different little microclimates as well. It's really neat. This eight mile valley is pretty damn cool. Then pull down the window a little bit 
it, y'all. Roll down the window a little bit, y'all. Hang on, I gotta put a dip in my mouth. A dip, you guys. It's not a real dip, it's just nicotine. But when I say it really fast, it kind of sounds bad. Hang on a sec. Alrighty, the dip has been applied. It goes in my upper lip. This is where I put my dip. Look guys, there's nobody on the road. I don't want you to be mad at me for driving five miles per hour over the speed limit. But I am driving five miles per hour over the speed limit. And I assure you, when we get over on the other side of the lake, it's going to be darker outside, like where my house is, and it'll be snowing more. It's just so cool. I, I just, I love the weather up here. I can predict, like, if I see how much snow is on this side of town, I can predict how much will be on the other side of town almost to a T every time. It's unbelievable. Like most of the times, as I, as I tell you guys, if we get eight inches to a foot at the Big Bear Dam over in Baldwin Lake, you might have an inch and a half or two inches. And it's the same elevation. It's just an eight mile difference in the valley. So th this is a, a little turn right here that a lot of people have problems with. And you see cars over the edge here a lot. So just be very careful. It's not a deadly type of a thing, but it'll ruin your day. I mean, it could be. It could be if you land wrong. I've seen a car upside down right here. If you guys see stuff like that, please check on them because you don't know if they're still inside the car or not. Please just check on them because they might be stuck inside might not have access to their phone they might be just unconscious or something um, I know it sucks to to have to do stuff like that because it's very scary but I promise you it's so rewarding if you can save somebody and because of the driving up here a lot of people need saving and you can see this side of town we're on the North Shore right now not that much snow but once we cross Stanfield cutoff you guys and head back into my area You'll see a huge difference. Look, there's just patches of, of brown everywhere over here. It's not even fully covered. Look, the whole area in there is not, not covered at all. Oh, thank you, brother. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. I'm going to give you a thank you very much. Okay. So we're going to make it right here. This is Stanfield Cutoff. so you guys can get a look at the view from the lakeside and then the Baldwin lakeside. And it's gonna be snowing in the car, but that's okay. So to the right, this is the lake. So beautiful. And then this is the Baldwin side. Man, it is so pretty out here, you guys. But that direction that I'm pointing right now, significantly less amounts of snow. As a matter of fact, instead of getting home through Big Bear Boulevard, we're gonna take one of the back streets here and go into Moon Ridge and catch a little bit more snow. And then we'll get home. So hang on, I know you guys don't wanna wait for this light, so hang on. Matter of fact, let me pull over for a minute. I gotta to respond to this, to this lady real quick, hang on. So there's no parking anytime. I'm not parking. I'm just going to stay here for a second. There's no one behind me. So let's pull way over here. Yeah, there's no one behind me. We're not parking. All right. Sorry about that, guys. So up here, we're coming up to the Wyndham Resort area. Um, I can't remember what the, what the name of like the whole timeshare thing is here. But it is really cool in 
here and I'd like to stay in here. It's a really big resort area. I think this is the biggest resort in town, actually. Wyndham, Wyndham, the world mark by Wyndham. The world mark by Wyndham. And down in the middle there, somebody built like the biggest beautiful mansion in the middle of that whole property. It's pretty cool. Look at these places. We can rent those, guys. We can rent those for Airbnbs. We can rent these for Airbnbs. Some of these are like castles. Just so cool. Okay, so this is Fox Farm Road, and we're gonna take this around it. There's a Johnny La. Johnny La. We're gonna be following Johnny La. I hope he doesn't get mad that I'm holding my camera. I'm just gonna go super slow so there's no chance of me catching up with him. Drive like the total tourist, which is good. Just driving like the total tourist is smart. Keeps you safe. snow because we're getting closer to the mountain I mean as you can see already just from being across the lake there's a significantly higher amount of snow I mean it's not much but you can tell that pretty much everything is covered I'm telling you guys if it was snowing these piles on the side of the road would be 15 feet high at least if we had all the snow yesterday gosh man I just want one of those storms to just be all snow, man. I know you guys do too. Oh, come on, you guy. Come on, my friend. Actually, he's driving like a champ, so no worries. Wow, he's driving like a big time champ. Wow, buddy. Careful, there's a John La in front of you. Johnny La. All right, guys. So this is McAllister, two of my favorite houses on this street right here. I always remember the name of this street because I think of Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. I know that sounds stupid, but I am a little bit, so. And the nostalgia makes me very happy to think about those good old days. Being a kid like 10, 11 years old and watching Home Alone on like DVD up here, because I think it came out when I was 10, and so it was, it was, it was, or it was on VHS when I was 11, and when we would visit our house in Lake Arrowhead, I remember watching it a couple times, and it just felt so good. I miss those feelings. I miss those feelings a lot. And so here's people in the middle of the street putting on tire chains. <laughs> not gonna get frustrated about it but it's just not smart I don't want them to get hurt because in these conditions it can be really really hard to stop and if you're laying down on the ground and someone rear ends you you're gonna get run over guys do not do that please like like pull over a little bit at least You know, like, like do something like this. I don't know how deep this is. I'll probably screw myself here, but like just pull over even just a little bit like this. No big deal. As I said, it's not for me to, I'm, I'm not trying to get angry about it. It's just, it's, it's such a, it's such a hazard. It's such a safety thing. All right, we're coming up to Elm Street. You guys are getting a lot of the back roads today. I'm super excited about that. I wish Highway 18 wasn't closed because I'd like all you guys to be up here, but it's really nice to be able to do these videos and not have to deal with traffic so you guys can actually get to really see what's going on up here instead of just traffic, 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 traffic.
Church Road now, folks. You guys should recognize this part by now. And you should recognize this part. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all the beautiful comments I get all the time. You guys mean the world to me. Anything I can do to help keep you safer up here, just let me know. I'm here for you guys. Because you guys are clearly here for me. So thank you again. And happy Christmas Eve. And we will be doing another video later. I love you guys a lot. Thank you very much. Peace out.